Hello everyone, this is Judah with Judah Creative. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create custom profiles, stroke profiles, in Adobe Illustrator CS6. Um, I did this quick little project uh, for one of my clients where um, I did a hand drawing of this lettering, scanned it in, painted it in Photoshop, and just threw it up on this. It was just for a fun project, and they really liked it. And so we wanted to make a vector version of this artwork. Now if you're familiar with the um, profiles in Photoshop you realize that they are pretty cool. You can do all sorts of neat things. Um, so here we have a couple of stroked objects. If we click the, uh, well first of all, um, if you have your stroke profile and this is all you see, you will need to click on this flyout menu and click show options. And down here at the very bottom is this drop down menu called profile. Um, and from here there's all sorts of fun little profiles you can select um, and it adds different stroke widths or weights uh, along the path you can um, click this little button and flip the direction uh, that those take effect on your strokes okay so some really neat things here but uh, you may find if you have a piece of artwork that you create that these um, stock profiles don't really do what you need uh, that there's just they're just not quite there and that's exactly what happened to me I searched the internet for some kind of tutorial that taught how to do this and I, I found a few little tips here and there but nothing that was really um, that teaches how to create a custom stroke profile so I decided hey why don't I do that that's what we're gonna do today um, okay so let me delete that and uh, so as you can see I redrew that artwork in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to apply just the uniform stroke and it's not too bad but um, I really wanted it to have you know variance in the line widths and stuff like that so that it looked more like a drawing and uh, I just none of the uh, profiles that came with Illustrator really worked for me so I wanted to create my own and this is what I found uh, first of all uh, trying to edit the profile while on the actual artwork was very difficult and it didn't render the results that I wanted and so the way I'm going to show you is uh, essentially drawing a straight line like so and I'm gonna make it just a little bit smaller draw a straight line and then select the profile that is closest to what you need for me it was actually the width profile number two so I've applied that profile and let me show you what this looks like on my actual artwork so if I select that artwork, go to this profile, um, it's kind of neat. I mean, you know, it adds some character to it, but it's just way too extreme. I wanted something that was more subtle um, so that the, the areas that are thinner are not quite so thin in comparison to the areas that are thicker. So here's what I did. Um, I, I drew a straight line and, and applied the profile like we've already done. If we hit Shift W, it brings up this little tool right here called the width tool okay um, the width tool will allow you to um, manipulate and edit the width of various points on the profile so as you can see when, when I have the width tool selected I roll over my stroked path here and you get these little dot looking things now first and foremost I want to tell you that you pro I, I haven't fully uh, figured out how this works it's sort of a trial and error thing you would think that you could just click and drag and change the widths but it does kind of you get varied results so let me show you um, I think you can click anywhere and add a point so if you click and drag that adds a point okay and you can make that whatever width you want once it's drawn um, you can start to manipulate it okay but now as you notice this is the frustrating part that I'm not sure you, you notice that you do not get a uniform fall off on both sides of your control point so let's undo that if you can roll over an area and you get that right there you notice how you roll over and you get the two control points on up you know over on the top of and below if you cook and drag you notice that you get uniform um, editing on the width okay so once again if I click and drag that it will change uniformly 
If I don't get a hold of that handle point and drag, um, you get a very sharp fall off on how it's actually editing the stroke. Okay, so you need to be aware of that. Um, that uh, if you do not, if you roll over and you're not actually editing the existing points, you're going to get something that perhaps looks like that. Okay, and that may not be what you're looking for. That certainly wasn't what I was looking for. Okay, um, so. I took some time to edit the stroke. So this is the thin part. I made it a little bit thicker. That's probably just a little bit too much, but somewhere in there like that. This right here was probably thinner than I wanted. And again, I'm not, you know, I just now did that and did not get a hold of the existing control point. Um, and this is Illustrator, so you probably will, you probably will be frustrated trying to do this. But let's pretend, I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, I didn't get a hold of it, but let's pretend like I did. Okay, so eventually I would, I would mess with this until I got it to work. I did the other day, so it is possible. Uh, once you're satisfied with how you have edited your stroke, um, you click on this arrow. Um, let's see here. So let's select my line. I, I, I got the direct selection tool. I selected the line. Click on the profile. Uh, button and you'll notice that you have a new uh, profile shape right here and it says custom if you click this little button right here dialog box pops up and asks you to rename so crazy profile let's name it that okay so now I've created a custom stroke profile and if I decide to create some new artwork I'll just create some crazy random shape here all right, and I select that shape. The custom profile is now available called Crazy Profile, so let's click that. And it's available to use for all of your custom strokes. All right, well, I, th I hope you uh, found this helpful. If you did, please click the like button below or leave a comment or share on your favorite social profile. Thanks, and have a great day.